football games were in the limelight this past Saturday, with Division I schools like Alabama, Auburn, Boise State, Clemson, Florida State, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Louisville, Miami, Michigan, Missouri, Nebraska, North Carolina, Northwestern, Oklahoma, Purdue, South Carolina, USC, Vanderbilt, Virginia, and Wake Forest playing for public audiences. The following players took the fields with some extra swag in their step and starred in their respective school's intracollegiate exhibitions on April 14th. Oklahoma Sooners freshman wide receiver Trey Matwire totaled six receptions and 72 yards, playing exclusively with the second team on offense. His performance in the game and prior to that during spring practices all but assures him a starting role in 2012, potentially as Lantry Jones' number one target. Amazing athleticism. Another first-year phenom, running back Josh Ferguson amassed 130 yards on 20 carries during the Fighting Illini Orange and Blue Spring game. This 68-yard carry came with his team pressed up against its own goal line. Four on the Lewis quarterback, and he hands it off inside there. Uh -oh. Big hole. Uh -oh. It is Ferguson. Uh -oh. He might go 98 go. yards. He's to the 50 to the 40. He was the most improved offensive player of the spring. Team was probably the Never fastest guy on the team. On the other side of the ball, junior Michael Buchanan recorded a game high 12 tackles, including four and a half sacks. Miami's spring game has thus far been among the low scoring spring exhibitions, with the Orange ultimately defeating the Green 7 to 6. One touchdown between them. Here's former JUCO defensive back Darius Gunter sticking with the opposing receiver after getting badly beaten and stripping the ball to force a turnover. In addition, Gunter had seven tackles. Orange was also victorious at the University of Virginia thanks to Cavaliers sophomore quarterback Michael Rocco. He passed for 196 yards without an interception. Twice he led this unit inside the Blues' 10-yard line to set up easy rushing touchdowns. Seven-yard passing play sets up first and goal, and here's Perry Jones dancing his way to the end zone for his second touchdown of the day. T.J. Yeldon, the mid-year freshman enrollee from Daphne High School in Daphne, Alabama, accumulates over 170 yards of total offense. He was the standout on offense. I began with a standout freshman, and I'm ending with a standout freshman. T.J. Yeldon, tasked with rebuilding a running attack that will soon be devoid of Alabama Crimson Tide star Trent Richardson, accrued 179 total yards. The reigning national champs are fit to repeat with outstanding returning talent and the finest incoming recruits. Who will be playing this weekend? Arkansas, Michigan State, Notre Dame, Ohio State, Ole Miss, Tennessee, West Virginia. <laughs> you get the idea. Juicy storylines to follow on April 21st and throughout the summer. More from me next week.